Hey everybody, it's John from moremusicandmoreguitars.com. It's been a while. Uh, we've been social distancing now for a few months and it's good to be back here. I'm actually in my teaching studio here at Evansville Music Academy. Uh, if you don't know, my primary job is as a guitar instructor and group instructor and kind of the side thing is doing gear demos for more music, the guys at more. And I wanted to talk about a piece of gear that I kind of came along right at the right time. It ha I just I got it about a month before we went into social distancing and lockdown, whatever you want to call it. And it's the Strymon Iridium. And I'm, I don't want to say that I love it because it's a thing, but it really I kind of love it. It's been great for me. Um, it's been something that I, I liked it right away, but then as I was using it for doing online lessons and also practicing at home quietly with headphones so that it doesn't drive my wife and kids crazy. It's became my most used piece of gear of the past year. Now, it's not a new piece. It's been out for a little bit less than a year. It came out last fall. So a lot of people may already know what it is and what it does. If you do and you just want to hear what it sounds like, you may want to go to video number two. If you're not quite sure what it is or you just want to kind of hear some more about it, then that's what this first video is going to be. So the question I always get from my guitar pals is, what is it? The blanket statement, the kind of the big idea is it's an amp in a box. This is going to replace an amp. So when I say replace an amp, let's kind of whittle that down a little bit. It has two main features. It has um, a built-in fake amp, amp model, and it has built-in fake speakers or what they call impulse responses. So the way you use this is for practicing, for instance, it's got headphone jack, and we're going to demonstrate all these sounds in the second video. So you can plug your guitar in, headphones in, and you're good to go. Um, you can use it into an audio interface into your computer for basically quiet recording, right? If you don't know what audio interface is, it's just a device that you plug into to get sounds into your computer. And then the third way that people are using these is actually live performance, you know, in situations where they need to keep the stage volume down or they're just looking for a little bit more consistent sound. Um, and these are popping up everywhere. So I wanted to kind of do a couple of videos talking about it and then also demonstrating some of the sounds, kind of how I've been using it. Now, if we do a little bit more digging, when I say it's an amp modeler, it's basically got three amps on it. It's got one that's called round and that's the Fender-ish. It's got one that's called chime and that's the Vox-ish. And there's one called punch, which is the Marshall-ish. Um, I like the Iridium with all of those because it's knobs. Um, doesn't have a lot of screen. It doesn't have any screen on it. Um, the only screen you would use is if you wanted to change the impulse response to the speakers, which I'll talk about later. And then you hook it up to your computer. But it's a, basically it's what you see is what you get. It's a Strymon. If you've owned a Strymon, you know there are like like sub menus that you can do by holding down certain buttons and twisting knobs. But uh, I have not done any of that. I like the way it sounds right out of the box. In fact. I brought this one home to demo it, to do a demo when we're fine. This was months ago and we're finally getting around to it. Um, I plugged it in, I plugged in my headphones and I'm going to be honest, my first reaction was, hmm, yeah, it was okay. And then one of the features we'll get into that is this room feature, which we'll get a close up on that here in a little bit. And all it took is one little twist of that and then it, it comes to life. So. About four hours later, I unplugged my headphones and my guitar, and I was like, man, this thing is never going back. This is going to stay with me forever. So the amp models, they sound good. We're going to demonstrate that as well. I do want to kind of talk real quick, though, about the uh, impulse response. So you have to somewhat manage your expectations on something like this because it's not as if you plug into this and it sounds exactly like your amp that's in the room with you. And IR doesn't do that, impulse response. It's basically a digital reproduction 
of a mic'd speaker. So what this sounds like is it sounds like a mic'd amp. It's, so if you compare it, if you plug it into um, a, your studio monitors or a, a full frequency flat response FRFR uh, type of speaker, it's not going to sound just like your deluxe reverb. Uh, it can't possibly because when you plug into a guitar amp, you have all these frequencies. But if you put a mic on that deluxe reverb and compare that to what this sounds like, it's probably pretty close. And in some cases, if you're terrible at miking amps like I am, this is probably a lot faster and, like I said earlier, more consistent. So there are lots of little features on here too. I'm not going to get too much into that because I really just want to show you how I've been using it and the sounds that I get out of it. In the second video, uh, I'm going to put it on my kind of janky put together pedal board of just things that I had left over. Some of them are really cheap pedals. There might be one or two that are not so cheap, but it's just to kind of demonstrate how it takes pedals. I will say, just like a guitar amp, it doesn't love them all. There's some that I've could not get quite to work with this, just like with some of my amps at home. And there's some that just work great with it as well. So um, I will, I do also want to say there's a couple other important things. This, if you're going to plug this in for live use to be able to listen to it, it's important to understand this does not plug into a guitar amp. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it or you can't because the history of electric guitar and rock and roll is just absolutely littered with people doing things that they're not supposed to do. So you might plug this into your favorite amp and it makes a whole new glorious sound. It's not what it's designed for. It's really designed to be plugged into either an interface or like a PA speaker you know, or, or something like the power cab, you know, something that is very flat. It doesn't have any color. All the color comes from here. So um, it's important to understand that because I have come across some people on the internet that didn't get that and thought it was the worst sounding thing they'd ever heard because they were trying to plug it into the front of their, you know, insert favorite solid state amp here. So, well, that's what it is. That's what it does. You know, it's going to be for somebody who either wants to or needs to be able to practice, record, or perform with basically no amp volume at all. Nothing, you know, to replace a guitar amp. And then also for people like me, because I don't necessarily need that. Um, but it's, I, I love having it. I, I love having it in my living room where I can just plug into it. And like I said, I've been using this for uh, my Zoom lessons with my students and it is a huge difference. There will be a short little video in the second video of me demonstrating what Zoom sounds like without this and with this. And you'll see, yeah, it's pretty drastic. So this thing has really kind of saved my sanity. So that's the end of video number one. I hope that I kind of covered basically what this is. There are a lot of little features, you know, and there are tons of videos out there and we may do another video at some point where we get really pinpoint with it. But for now, why don't we go to the second video where we can hear what it sounds like.